what's going on guys welcome back um i know it's been a minute since i made a video uh we have been pretty busy i was waiting for a long time to get this car that i'm gonna show you yeah i had to place the order i guess it wasn't in stock anywhere finally i found one it got here uh i've been able to run it a few times i like it so uh, I want to thank all of you, all the new subscribers, the old ones, all the comments, all the likes. I really appreciate it. And let's get down to it. So somebody suggested that I did on-road cars. We're going to do just that. Before we get into the car, here's the box. Um, like I said, this is an 8 scale on-road, 80% um, ready to run car. Um, it is obviously nitro they say i believe is 80 percent complete uh what you're gonna need is an engine with an air filter an exhaust you're gonna need tires you're gonna need electronics that is two servos and a switch whether you go with a digital switch or a mechanical switch and you're gonna need a body and of course um you're gonna have you're gonna need all your track equipment fuel tools and whatnot so uh, basically the way you see it in this picture is the way you get it it is pre-assembled in the box you're gonna find your owner's manual i'm gonna be completely frank with you it's not of a lot of use um it doesn't show you a lot of the things that you might need to uh, know but this is what you get uh they give you an exploded view of differentials the transmission it doesn't say anything about adjusting the transmission uh the two-speed transmission so if you have some experience, you know they're basically all the same or pretty close. So yeah, uh, but they're not gonna tell you how to do it. And uh, that's pretty much it. So box owner's manual, you get a little bit of uh, decals and that's it. Uh, like I said, you're gonna have to buy a body, an engine, an air filter, an exhaust, um, and your electronics. Body wise, this is, oh, it's all dirty this is what i got um this is from bd designs um it is this is a 333 millimeter body uh, if it's perfect the wheel base on this car is 335 so there's only a two millimeter difference but it all fits well within the wheel arches and whatnot so yeah i didn't find any other bodies that will fit um if you know about any let me know so yeah this is the body i got uh it's like a generic design but uh, it looks pretty good in my opinion. So yeah, let's get close to the car and I'll show you what I like, what I didn't like and uh, yeah. Okay, so here you have it. Um, I hope you can see it well. Where do I start? Um, okay, basics. Like I said, eight scale, on road, all wheel drive, two speed, almost ready to run car. Uh, they did a phenomenal job, I think. Um, it is, it's pretty high end for not being, you know, like a full fancy kit. You get a uh, servo tray made out of carbon fiber as well as the uh, transmission top plate. This is your extra battery provision. Here is your receiver box, battery box. This is the hole for the switch. I'm using a digital switch as you can see right there. The fuel tank is 150 cc, so it's like slightly bigger than what you find on a eight scale buggy. Uh, the top of the steering, the plate is aluminum pretty thick the rack down below is also aluminum i don't know if you can see it right there um, it comes with this servo horn aluminum for this for the steering plastic for the throttle these bits here um, for the linkage are all aluminum mine was short i didn't get one of these adjusters so i had to find one in my toolbox is this red one you see right here uh shock towers Aluminum, pretty thick. I don't know if it's four millimeters or more, but they're pretty thick. Uh, full metal shocks. They are 17 millimeters um, wide, so they're pretty beefy shocks. The suspension is very, very stiff out of the box. I forgot what fluids um, they say it has, but I think it's 50,000 all around. Um, I don't know, but it is, it is pretty stiff. You might have to switch that. I don't know, depending on where you're gonna run this car. But um, even though I'm running it obviously on pavement, a lot of little rocks and it's kind of bumpy, but uh, I didn't mess with that. Um, pillow ball suspension in the front, uh, steering. Of course, you get your foam bumper um, and the support is plastic, both uh, top and bottom. You get um, obviously your two seal differentials um, with your two-speed transmission. It is pretty similar to 
the Kyosho GT2 transmission, the way you adjust it and the way it is basically. Uh, mine wasn't shifting really well out of the box. And sh in fact, it wasn't shifting. And then I adjusted just a little bit and I was shifting too soon. So you have to play with it. If you know these ones, some of them are like so touchy. They need to be like precisely adjust. Both screws have to be like precise. What else? Uh, it comes with some uh, adapters for the post. I had to remove them to fit that body that I have. Uh, again, it's a beauty design, 333 millimeter um, body. For the engine, um, I went with something inexpensive. This is an off-road engine. It is an Alpha Plus 5 Plus 2. So it's like a 5 port um, engine. It's a 21 uh, bump start engine. Now here's the funny thing. Even though the flywheel is actually pretty big, it's 35 millimeters, whereas most of them are like 32, 34. Uh, the flywheel is too far from the chassis for you to bump start this thing. So I had to modify the engine mounts to bring down the engine and be able to um, reach the flywheel with the with the starter box wheel i think all combined i had to lower the engine about two millimeters and then i put kind of like a bevel on the chassis i'll show you that just so my wheel didn't get destroyed i think the window was kind of small um to begin with but yeah i'm just using a protec short start uh, box and that's what i've been using without any of the attachments I'm just usually, I'm just putting this on top of the box and kind of like making sure everything lines up and then that's how I start this thing. Um, if you get a, an engine with a pull start, you probably won't have that problem. If you get an engine with a roto start, your mounts might be actually too small. I don't know. Yeah, so you get your clutch, of course, and your flywheel. That's included with the kit. Um, so you put that on your engine of choice. And then, of course, you need an exhaust. Um, I did run into some trouble. Uh, some exhaust manifolds are so big that they almost touch the sway bar link on here. Um, so again, you're going to have to play with that. Um, no air filter. I'm just using this TLR air filter, which is actually turned around the other way. Um, so yeah, TLR air filter fits perfect. That's it. Um, again, let's go back to the manual. Like I said, it's kind of, it's kind of mediocre. Um, it doesn't tell you anything about the linkages. It doesn't tell you how to adjust your transmission. Um, so if you have experience on this, do you know how to do it? Uh, you'll just figure it out. And if you don't, you can leave me some questions in the comments. Uh, the transmission, like I said, is pretty easy to adjust. It has two bolts. They're two millimeters, so you have to adjust those. Um, the linkage, you can just refer to this video, I guess, and look at the way it is oriented. Um, yeah, it's, it's kind of simple. So uh, you get your servo horns, plastic for the throttle, aluminum for the steering. I thought it was pretty nice. An inline filter. I'm not a fan of those because if you have a little clunk filter in the tank, no need for this. Uh, but it's nice of them to put it there. Um, super beefy. The rear uh, hubs are aluminum. Most of the parts, control arms, um, linkages and whatnot, they're pretty, they're pretty thick. Axles and drive shafts, they're pretty nice. I think they did a great job. So for 420 bucks, I think is, um, is a pretty good deal. Um, here's the bottom of the car. That is your chassis. As you can see, it says um, Hobao GT2 with a little checker flag. Um, that is the window of the flywheel. You can see that I put kind of like a bevel on there. Um, and then, yeah, that's pretty much it. I love it. It's pretty stable. Um, it handles really good. I don't know if I mentioned it. I mentioned this, but you do need tires. So um, there are some options out there. Of course, you don't really want to cheap out on tires. Um, I got these guys from Amazon. Um, these were like 20 bucks or something. And uh, you need to glue them. And they've been okay. Uh, they're not falling apart or anything. Uh, yeah, it, you know, they're not perfectly balanced. Uh, so instead, I also got um, some GRP uh, slicks. These are race legal. And uh, these are great. As soon as you put some heat into them, the car handles awesome. So, uh, of course, the price difference is... The, the price difference is... And I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, I'm going to show you some videos of this car running. And um, if you have any questions, just leave them in the comments. If you have any suggestions, leave them in the comments. Um, I was going to show you the battery that it uses. I'm back. I'm going to show you the battery. Um, you might want to have this ready before you get going, right? You order the car and order all the stuff you need. Yeah, I like to have everything ready because I'm always pretty desperate to get these things running. So 
All right, this is the battery, ProTech, uh, PTK5161. Here you have it. It's a little chunky square, fits perfectly in here. Um, I'm using a digital switch, it's only like 20 bucks. I didn't go with fancy servos, no point, but they are digital, all metal, high voltage service servos, so they deal properly with the LiPo. Yeah, I really like it. Um, like I said, just the only thing is if you don't know much about this, uh, putting together your linkages could be a little bit of a problem or uh, setting up the two speed. I don't know, I might make another video. Um, on how to do that. Um, I do want to make another video as soon as I make changes. I already got a larger uh, pinion here. So I want to see how fast I can get it to go. So far, I could only get about 50 miles an hour out of it. Um, like I said, the transmission was acting kind of funny. Um, the engine still kind of new. So we'll see, I'm gonna run it again. Then I'm gonna change the pinion. I do have other engines to try. Um, so if you guys have any suggestions, any engines that you want to see on this thing, let me know. And um, yeah, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for all your support. And um, I'm going to leave you with some videos of this thing running. And um, yeah, leave me some comments.